collector's editions have been around for a long time. Plates, coins, stamps, movies, and toys just to name a few. Lenard Toys The Core have dipped their fingers into the collector's edition game. There's the Vintage Core Collector's Edition, the Collectible Vintage Series Special Forces Unit, and today's subject, the Core New Recruits Collector's Case and Global Bros in a Case. These cases have three figures, biotags, accessories, and that useless dirt bike that no one fits on correctly. The collector's case includes Mirage version 1, Spade version 1, and Rain version 1. The global bros in a case includes Decoder version 2, Boulder version 1, and Road Rash version 1. Of course, these are their American names. That's right, most of the Global Bros have their own Russian names. These cases have a clear door that is attached to the front. There is a gray handle, the corners are sculpted with bolts, and the back has a grid with numbers, kind of like Battleship, but not really. That's confusing, but I'll explain later. The front has a sticker of a character on a motorcycle. The Global Bros case has Crash on the bike. The Collector's case has Road Rash on the bike. According to Grizz Geek, the cases were supposed to have the figure on the sticker. They were supposed to have both good guys and bad guys, making the cases a ready-to-play experience. This Global Bros case is the only Russian core set I have, and I can't find much info on Global Bros without having to learn Russian. But I did translate the packaging thanks to Google Translate. It reads, Included, three soldiers, a set of ammunition, and military equipment. Global Bros in a case. Moving figures of fighters. We already know that the set comes with Boulder version 1, Decoder version 2, and Road Rash version 1. But they have other names. Meet Ralph Trumer, Scarab. Edwin Black, Razor. And Li Chao, Mirage. Yeah, this set comes with Mirage's bio for some reason. And look at that Global Bros logo. It's so lame, but I love it. Now, why are these cases so strange? Well, these cases are recycled from Lenard's tool toy line, specifically the Lenard Workman's tool case. This is probably why my case comes with a label that says tough stuff. This also explains the numbers and grid on the back of the case. Lenard Toys began with tool toys, and Mr. Lenard still loves his tool toys to this day. So this brings the whole thing back around full circle. Oh, and the man's name isn't Mr. Lenard. <laughs> 